my leg. Okay. Uh, you may have noticed or not noticed at all, but we've been off for a month. We road tripped all the way from Nova Scotia to see some family. And if you're not aware of how long that drive is from Toronto, where we live, let me tell you, it's so long. It's a 20 hour drive if you don't stop. So throw in two kids who are both under five and you'll just have a grand old time. Yeah, it was, uh, it was an experience, mostly a learning experience. There's a reason airplanes were invented. Anyways, other than the drive, we had a great time in one of the most beautiful places in this country. So shout out to any Nova Scotians watching this. Your home is beautiful. Anyways, it's good to be back. On to our usual programming. I'm gonna be testing two methods of foiling your leather with the Cricut. Foiling is just basically putting pretty gold and silver embossing onto your leather or paper or whatever. The first method we're gonna be using is with the Cricut foil transfer kit. The Cricut foil transfer kit. Cricut's own branded foiling tool. It says it's pressure activated foil. So hassle free application, no heat required. Polished long lasting results. Right off the bat, I'm not optimistic about how this will work with leather. Just being pressure activated, yeah, it doesn't bode well in my mind. And with that comment, also I'm not sponsored by Cricut, so this is from the heart. The second method is with the foil quill, made by a third brand party brand. English, why is it so hard? The second method is with the foil quill, made by a third party brand called We Are Memory Keepers. Also not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by anyone, so if anybody out there watching would like to change that, I'm all ears. Uh, the Cricut kit is about $40 and the foil quill is also about $40, give or take. They're quite comparable in terms of price, but I wanted to see how well each one would work with leather, if at all. So I'll be testing on vegetable tan leather, oil tan leather, and also paper for those of you who are more interested in non-leather projects. So let's get started. is what we have, which is, it's not great, but it, it's better than I thought it would be, so. Um, you can see on the oil tan leather, it doesn't really adhere well, it just smudges a lot. And if you run your finger over it, it just comes off on your finger. Whereas this one, it didn't, on the veg tan, it didn't really smudge. It doesn't smudge as bad but that could be because of the color difference. So one thing I learned is to make sure this is extremely flat. So just put something on before you adhere this um, so that it stays super flat. So oh, this is the foil quill. I haven't opened this yet, so I have no idea how this works. I'm gonna use this medium one. So it comes with the USB. It's USB heated, so you have to plug it into the USB on the Cricut. Head of your Cricut. And it lights up when it's being heated. Comes with these little tips. Each one's for a different machine. This is like for the silhouette. This is for the Cricut here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and screw that on. That is so much better than the first one. This got cut off here because that was my mistake, but it looks way better than the Cricut one. And let's see how well it did on the chrome tan leather. 
also not great. Yeah, it doesn't really work. I would not recommend any foiling tool on a chrome tanned leather, that's for sure. So here are the final results basically for the foil quill versus the Cricut. So on this side, on the left side, we have the Cricut foil transfer kit. And on the right side, we have the We Are Memory, Qu we Are Memory Keepers foil quill. So up here we have just regular black paper. Um, it's just regular black cardstock. And they both turned out quite well, honestly. They both look pretty good. Um, so on paper, I think, Either is a wash. Here's where it gets a little more interesting. This is vegetable tan leather here. Um, so, so this is the thicker tip. This is the tip that has the that has the three three bands on it. And honestly, it didn't work super well here. And you can see, it really didn't it didn't really work. And over here we have we have the foil quill here and it actually turned out really well. I think that if I had done a better job keeping the foil flat when I taped it on, it'd work a little better and you wouldn't get those little misses, but honestly, it looks it looks pretty nice. Oil tan leather. Um, honestly, neither of them work on oil tan leather. This just smudges off like crazy. And here, it also didn't work super well. Um, this doesn't look like it's powdered up, but it also did not adhere at all, really. So here I used the fine tip, um, and it turned out way better than the bold tip, for whatever reason. Uh, this just did a better job. And here is the counterpart with the foil quill. It's This is still the regular tip for the foil quill, and it looks really good. Um, I don't know if it's the it's probably just the foil here, but the foil with the foil quill looks, stands out way more. We're gonna try a test to see how they rub off and see if they come off easily on the leather. So, after a bit of rubbing, nothing really came off. It's pretty good. I think I could probably scratch it off, but it's holding up. Coming off this one a little bit, um, it's getting a little more dull. So definitely the, the Cricut one, because it's not heat activated, it really doesn't adhere to leather as well. I'm gonna try it on paper. So this one is the Cricut one. This one's the regular foil quill. Um, and we'll try the rubbing off the foil quill first. So I did manage to actually rub a little bit off in some spots. It's definitely coming off a little bit. It's not too bad. Yeah, this one is definitely worse too. So the Cricut one, again, because it's not heat activated, does rub off a little easier. Again, this is the Cricut. Okay, well, this came off completely. That's all gone, pretty much. So because that bold tip wasn't really sticking super well, um, it didn't work. So you can see the embossing a little bit left over, but there's almost no, there's almost no foil left. I mean, this one holds a lot better than the other one. So. We're still pretty good, whereas this one's gone. So overall, I definitely recommend the foil quill for four main reasons over the Cricut foil kit. Number one, it uses heat activated foil. Just because of the nature of heat activated foil, it just adheres better um, to all surfaces. The Cricut kit is going to rub off with time, I think on most materials. The number two reason I would prefer the foil quill over the Cricut kit is because it's compatible with other machines. 
If you're one of the people who have sworn they're never gonna purchase another Cricut because you know, they're forcing subscription-based software on their users down the road, it makes even more sense to buy the foil quilt because it's actually compatible with multiple machines. Third reason is the material options. The Cricut foil kit is like limited to like 10 different materials or something like that. You can only select a handful of things to use it on. Whereas the foil quill basically allows you to use any option the pen tool works with, which is almost endless. Fourth reason is you can buy heat activated foil from many sources, whereas you can only buy pressure activated foil from Cricut. So hopefully that was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you wonderful people next week. God bless.